seemingly coming alive through the lens of a camera, these 3D works of art showcase just one of the many artistic talents of local artist Emmanuel Arezaga. Attracted to art from a very young age, the Mexican native moved to Canada at the start of grade 7 and has flourished both personally and artistically. Graduating from Vernon Senior Secondary last year, his works have grown from simple pencil drawings to the use of charcoal, pastels, chalk, acrylic, oil, and even digital animation. I just kind of practice at home, grab a comic book and just draw what I saw, try to recreate the drawings. And now that I've become much better, I kind of have stopped the copying other artists and I guess trying to do my own. The young artist takes part in weekly classes and has also been working with local arts educator Jolene Mackey over the past three years. It's all in an effort to expand his knowledge and continue his development in all areas of his art, including his portrait work. She started kind of pushing me a bit to do more portraits because that's the only way you like, develop and grow is by pushing the things you're not quite as good at comfortable with. So uh, I started, okay, like, ah. And at first I really didn't like it. I was like, ah, this looks terrible. I just want to draw an animal or Spider-Man. <laughs> Finally, I started getting better at it with time. And now it's something that I really like doing. He's sort of now going into this world where he's creating his own ideas and really pursuing his own way of creating his art. So that's been exciting to watch. One of his more recent endeavors is his work with 3D chalk art. They're unique works that have an almost physical presence when viewed through the lens of a camera. I take him to Photoshop to kind of stretch it and get a perspective using kind of some grids. And then I use the projector to kind of mark, okay, here's where the areas. This is how big the head should be. This is the proportions and map out the angles because that's if you get the angles wrong, it's, it's done. Everybody sort of knows what it is, but people don't really know how it's done or... Yeah, so it, it's been an interesting world to dive into because I feel like it's not the easiest thing to figure out. It's weird at first when you start drawing it because it's your eyes say, no, that's not how big it should be, that's not... You have to fight that. It becomes more like draw what you see, not what you think. Since taking part in an animation boot camp in grade 9, Zags, as he's known in the art world, has been drawn to digital art. In October, he'll be entering the digital animation program at Cato in the hopes of developing a career within the industry. I would like to have animation as a career, but I would also like to keep going on the art. I would love to keep having exhibitions and um, having art galleries and explore art in both ways because I think they would help each other. With his continued dedication to developing as an artist, the teenager has big plans when it comes to his future work. I would love to one day work on a like, Disney movie or like do the next Toy Story or <laughs> something like that. For more information about his art, you can visit drawingsbyzags.weebly.com. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.